How's it going? John from Neural DSP. And in this video, I want to tell you about two exciting devices included in the new Core OS 3.0.0 update. These are the Transparent Blend and the Plugin Blend. So let's dive in and see what they do. The two blend devices allow you to control the mix of two different signals. These two devices are very similar, but the Plugin Blend brings in a wet signal with fixed EQ and compression parameters whereas the transparent blend mixes in a completely unprocessed signal. So to demonstrate this, I've made a plug-in blend preset and I've got a clean tone with a compressor, delay and reverb device. And you'll see here the plug-in blend device as well. And currently I've set the blend to 50%. So this is gonna be a 50-50 split between my dry and wet signal. And I've told it to be side-chained and read the input of my guitar, the DI of input one. With blend at 0% and none of this wet signal blended in, here's how it sounds. If the blend was at 100%, this is how the wet signal sounds. So with a 50-50 blend of the two, here's how that sounds. So with my blend at 0%, my guitar is coming in at input 1 and going through the signal chain to the multi-out. However, with the blend at 100%, my guitar is effectively coming in at the plug-in blend block, bypassing the first part of the signal chain before this device. In this next example, we're gonna have a look at the transparent blend device. Here, we've got an ambient clean sound going through an amp, cab, modulation device, and a reverb. But I'm using the transparent blend device here to blend in an octave up with a pitch shifter and also some analog delay. With the blend at 0%, Here's how the pitch shifter block and the analog delay block would sound in the signal chain. With the blend at 100%, the transparent blend is acting as the input. So my guitar is coming in at input one and then going through these blocks towards the latter end of the signal chain. So now if I assign an expression pedal to the blend control, I can then control the levels of the original clean tone and this pitch shifted delay sound with the expression pedal. This is a really easy way to blend in multiple devices and effects with one controller. So now I've assigned my expression pedal to the blend control and here's how it sounds. For this third example, I have a facial fuzz overdrive, which has no mix style on it. And next in the chain, I have a transparent blend assigned to my expression pedal here on the floor. I've set the source at input one for the side chain, so that as the pedal is at 100%, i.e. all the way down, it's reading my guitar input, and it's going straight through these four blocks. However, if it was all the way back and at 0%, it would be going through the fuzz and then through the amp, cab, and reverb. This means that the transparent blend device is acting as a mix dial for the facial fuzz overdrive, something that previously, up until now, wouldn't be possible. So I'll play through these, blending between the two, and you'll hear how they sound. <laughs> So there's a quick overview of the new transparent blend and plug-in blend devices. And the best news is both of these devices are included in Core OS 3.0.0 for all users. 
And this means you don't need any plugins to start using these devices to shape your tone. To find out more about Core OS and Quad Cortex, head on over to neuraldsp.com. I've been John Connor, thanks for watching.